Hello, Randy Rain here, and we're down to the last flea, the strongman flea. Now, this is me from the future, because I forgot to shoot an opening for this video. So you're in for a treat and a little sneak peek, because the flea circus is done, and this is what it ends up being. Now, we're up to the strongman flea, which is... El Gigento, which is the way I choose to pronounce it, whether it's correct or not. Now, when I think of a strong man at a circus, I think of him bending bars. So this is where I got the idea of using memory metal, which is metal that will bend into its memorized shape with heat. So that's what I did, and that's what this video is about. So let's get started. Okay, so I've been playing around with some different memory wire. Here's some very thin stuff here. And if I apply heat under this plate, you can see it eventually it works. But it takes a lot. Here I have some stuff that I can barely even bend and it takes a, a lot of heat to get back. Here's some bigger stuff that's pretty easy to bend but it still takes a lot of heat to get back. That won't work either. See, then there's this stuff that bends pretty good, but again, when you put it on here, it takes a lot of heat for it to go. And it's finally going like that. Okay. But then I have some of this stuff. With this is hot enough, I can barely hold it here at the corner. But if I bend this, just from that heat, this one will go back. So this one takes very little heat for it to go back. So that's the one I'm using. And so to cut this, I'm just going to use an old pair of scissors. I've got some marks laid out here. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's what I want to do or not. Uh-huh. Keep going. I like that it's creating a lip. 
I like that. Did not mean to do that on purpose at all. Happy accident. It's also a happy accident that the exact size that I need to bend this is at the end of this. I didn't plan that either. So now I need to cut a hole for it. Something like that. This ought to be fun. Let's get the cannon out of here. Now I think my jigsaw is going to be too aggressive and start destroying things. So this is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to try this just to see if it works. Well, that got me enough that I can actually cut it with just a knife now, the rest of the way. Yeah, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Okay, run a quick test. Here's a bend. There. Something like that. Perfect. Doesn't have to stay on very long. To attach this piece I'm using some JB Weld because of the heat that's going to be happening and I'm going to mix some fiberglass into it which will act as reinforcement. Now I'll just cover it up with some regular So as epoxy and stuff like this cures it goes through a rubber stage and at this point it's a good time to fix any imperfections So 
I 3D printed out some pieces to hold this in place. And this is the only place I can figure out that it can pass this section and still make it here. But now it's in the way of this thing. But this thing technically can move down. There's nothing stopping it from moving down. It'll still work. But I'm going to have to extend this out, which means this will need a brace. Which it probably needs a brace anyway. Over here, this section is going to be used. I have plans for this, so I can't put it over here. The thing's just so bigger than I expected it to be. So I guess it needs to be... Um, we'll put it right there for now. Okay, so I have to push this. This thing is actually pretty hard to push. There's a safety button back here, but I can work with that. But what I'm going to do... So I'm going to glue a little piece right here that I 3D printed out. So... so so now when it goes in here, I should be able to pinch like that. And for the safety button down here, I'm going to use one of these little tires like that. So when it gets mounted down, it's going to push that. in there and this one will mash it down so now I should be able to perfect okay give it a shot bend the little wire and then it will get set right there and then it just stay Look at that flea bend that back just like that. That flea is strong. That's perfect. Now I just need to clean this up and make it look like something. And for the top, I have an idea. This may work. Then again, it may not. So my idea for the top is to use this stuff. This is for 3D printing. This is what sticks to the bed, so it allows the plastic to stick. And it's for a heated bed, so this stuff can take a lot of heat. So I'm hoping I can put this here, and it'll kind of make it not look like metal anymore. And it will withstand the heat. It's time to find out. Okay, time to see how it works. There's my wire. It's bent. And clicking on. Don't see a problem. I don't think. Kind of bubbled up a little bit. I'm going to go with it for now. Okay, I have the ring made for this side. 
the track is a little far this way. I wish I'd have pushed it just a hair more that way, but too late now. It is what it is. So this ring goes just like that. Notice what I've done that on this ring the colors start with red here because it breaks here at these red stairs. Over here on this ring it breaks here at blue because it's breaking right here at this blue column. That's the reason for the white stage and, it, and the paint scheme starting with white here. My theory is you don't notice this type of stuff, but you feel this type of stuff. It's like a feng shui of art or something. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here it is like this. Here's the bent metal. If I put it here, watch the little flea. He will just straighten it out just like that. Now see, you don't even have to click it and turn the lighter on at the moment. It can be before and just let it heat up a little bit. But now I need back in here. Because I need to extend this. This is a little too short now. It needs to at least be right here. So I gotta make this longer. I think this actually works better here because when you pull the motorcycle across, there's more friction to it. And so it, that when it does it, it's pulling this way. So there's less slack in here to stretch. I need to make this longer and that's just going to make it more flimsy. So I've even built a little brace that i got to put into it. Okay, this is the one I gotta replace. Well, that one turned out to be some jerry rigging. But really, that's the best way to do this. I mean, the only other way would be electricity, and that would need to be plugged in, or the whole thing would be filled with batteries, and that's just not practical. A combustible fuel is the way to go. So, that worked out. Anyway, that finishes up half of the Strongman Flea. That means there's only two more videos left. Finishing up the other part of the Strongman Flea, and then the next and last video is finalizing and a performance. So what that means is I want to thank these people right here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. I could not do it without them. So I thank them very, very much. If you would like to become a patron, there is a link below. Also, PayPal donation. Or go check out my Magic Toy Store. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And see you in the next video. Yeah, well, so that's it right there. Here's the little metal piece that he will bend back. And you don't have to turn it on right at this time. You can do it on the offbeat. Did you even notice the click? Because I left that on way too long. <laughs>